The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he keeps on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. And I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you don't have his word remaining in you, because you don't believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them, even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the face that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you don't believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kapayapaan po at pawang kabutihan sa inyo lahat, mga kapatid, mga katulad ko ng mga pilgrims, mga diboto ng ating mal na ina ng Birhen ng Manawag. Welcome po sa ating lahat dito sa Minor Basilica of the Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Ganon din po sa lahat ng mga nakikiisa sa pagdiriwang ng banal na misang ito sa pamamagitan ng ating live streaming. Mga kapatid, mayroon pong kasabihan like father, like son. Or minsan, kapag nakikita natin ang isang bata, ang kanyang galaw, ang kanyang mannerisms, ang kanyang mga actuations, ay parang kamukha ng tatay ng bata. We will always say, ay kagaya siya ng tatay niya. Kamukha siya ng tatay niya. Para silang pinagbiyak ng tatay niya. Like father, like son. Kapag ang isang bata malikot, sasabihin ng lola, nung ang tatay mo ganyan din malikot. Kapag ang bata matalino, sasabihin, ganyan din ang tatay mo nung bata. Matalino, matano, mahilig, manaliksik. Like father, like son. Sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, mga kapatid, matingkad na sinasabi ni Jesus at muli ipinapaunawa sa ating lahat. Ang kanyang mga salita, ay hindi salita na galing sa Kanya, bagkus mga salita ng Ama. The words of Jesus are not simply His own words, but rather, they are the words of the Father. Jesus speaks forgiveness because they are the words of the Father. Jesus speaks about mercy because the Father speaks of mercy. Jesus speaks about forgiveness Reconciliation, because the Father speaks and teaches. 
about forgiveness and reconciliation. Ang sabi sa Ibanghelyo, ang aking mga gawa ay gawa ng aking ama at nagpapatunay na kung saan at sino ako. The works, the actions, the miracles, the actuations of Jesus are not His. They are actions. They are miracles. They are the fulfillment of the will of the Father. Jesus simply obeyed His Father. Jesus simply followed His Father. The works, the words, the actions of Jesus are the works, are the words and actions of His Father. Second, mga kapatid, this also brings us to the reality. If Jesus has this Father, we also have the same Father. Remember, our catechesis says, we are all created in the image and likeness of God. Our heart is enveloped with love, with forgiveness, with reconciliation, not with hatred, not with anger, not with prejudice, because we are the Son of God created. We are children of God, rather, created in His own image. Therefore, my dear friends, my dear sisters and brothers, let us ask the Lord to the prayers of Our Lady of Manawag, Apu Bakit, to continue to inspire us, to give us the grace that we may always live our vocation as children of God, doing, saying, the works, the, the actions of the Father, and doing the same thing because we are His children now and forever. Amen.